My mommy said that when it's coming from the market, so buy biscuit for me. I don't give it. My mommy did not buy the biscuit today. That's why. Okay, what if you can actually see everything that's going on beyond the physical? You wake up and you're scared and you're panting. God, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What makes you scream Jesus out of your sleep? Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you joined me today. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you three hilarious things you should be grateful for. You're welcome back. Number one thing I'm going to be sharing with you is that you cannot see beyond the physical environment. You have to be grateful for that. I was just alone. I think I was meditating at that time and I just, it just crossed my mind that, okay, what if you can actually see everything that's going on beyond the physical? What if you could actually see all of that? How would that make you feel like, isn't that going to be a tasky life to live, a very hard life to live in, if you could actually see everything that's going on around you and you have to start protecting yourself. Even if you don't have to protect yourself, seeing it alone is terrifying. Now, let's say, for example, you slept and you had a dream that somebody was about to do something evil to you. How does that make you feel? You wake up and you're scared and you're panting. God, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What makes you scream Jesus out of your sleep? Because you have seen something that scares you. Now imagine if you live every day by day, having to see the arrows that fly in, in the daytime. What if that was, that was how we were made to live our lives? How will you feel? We'll be scared day in, day out, night and day. Night and day. But for the fact that God has made us just the way we are, the only thing we can see is just our physical environment, though, there might be people that are see beyond that. I don't know. So it's one reason you have to be grateful for. And when he just wants us to see just a little part of it, he just wants us to see, okay, so that you will not think that everything just happened normally. Just have a taste of this and see that I am the one that's protecting you. I think those, those are the only times we tend to experience all of these things and feel like, God, oh, God, thank you. Thank you. And even when we have terrifying sights and all of that and then we cry the name of jesus i don't know but for me if anything scares me if anything wants to attend to scare me at the mention of the name of jesus according to what the scripture says that at the mention of the name of jesus every knee should bow and every tongue could confess that christ is lord Immediately i call in the name of jesus it has been it has been working for me and that's one reason number two reason is that you have the ability to fat yes 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 um well it might seem like a dirty thing to say to maybe to some people but i think i have experience and i would actually like to share with you the person had gone through operation and at some point after the host of the person was back to live and we're happy that okay this person is alive the doctor said something and said once the person fats but that means it was it was feeling funny to me so i was like ah, what you do and everybody will say get out get out now it's something that we are praying for like i know they were like god please oh, let this person do this <laughs> yeah it is funny now but then it was a serious prayer it was a serious prayer so these are just things that we seem to commonize that are actually things that we need to be grateful for hilarious yes but you need to be grateful for it. Now, the third and the final point I'll be sharing is that you are able to yawn and you, you are able to return your mouth back to position. English will not kill me, but I hope you get what I'm trying to talk about. When you open your mouth to you yawn, fine, you can't control it. Fine. Perhaps somebody beside you just did that. Oh, and the thing is kind of contagious. Before you know it, you find yourself doing the same thing. And for the fact that you're able to, ah, and you close your mouth and it returns back to the position, not like you do, ah, and the, your, your mouth just stays like that. And you're like, yeah, people tell you, close your mouth, eh? ah, 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 close your mouth, ah, 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 you can't close it again. The fact that God gave you that grace, you're able to do, ah, ah, ah. some of us will make funny noise with it. <laughs> and <laughs> it's just one reason to be grateful for. That God has given you that grace to be able to do that. Free of cost. He's not even charging you. We have to be grateful. 
So these are just three points, just three hilarious points I'll be sharing with you that things that you need to be grateful for. And I pray that God will build in you the attitude of gratitude. Help you to be grateful for all the little, little things, the big things that he has done for you. Thank you for watching this video today. Kindly like, subscribe, share this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.